Welcome to Cartoon People. I'm Adam, this is Charles, and this week's episode is about cartoon expressions. If you haven't subscribed already or liked us, now is the time to hit those buttons. So, Charles, cartoon expressions. Indeed. Um, what are they? Tell me all about them. Well, I mean, I would say, I mean, this is what, this is what cartoons are for, really, like what emoji is for. It's a, uh, a very simple way of showing what somebody's feeling by showing the expression on their face, obviously. Um, and uh, I think probably the best thing is if I just get on with it and draw some. To show us some expressions. Yeah. Show yeah. us like, I are know, these, is this like the sort of core, is there like, would you say there's like a core set of cartoon expressions? Um, like, like No, I mean, I'd say that there's a, there's a kind of a basic cartoon face, uh, which I mean, I would say basically a cartoon face is a ball, which, which has just got a couple of eyes on it, really, um, and a mouth underneath. And that's, that is the cartoon face. Uh, and it's what we all use. And it's what you use when you do emojis as well, actually. Okay, well, let's, why don't you, why don't let's have a look at I'm going to do my best. Yeah. yeah. I've had, we've had a very bad pen day today. Well, so. the viewers don't need to know that there's been a bad, well, we have had a very. Well, I know I'm bad work when you blame. Tra- tools, yes, well, that is true. You, you literally case, blame. You passive aggressive little bastard. Yes, you know, there's been, basically. um, yeah. Um, discovered many pens, none of which worked. Yeah. Um, there was no. a lot of swearing. Well, they've, they, I've had the gremlins in, unfortunately. I do my, this is my sort of oval shape. With, oh, guys. Uneven eyes, of course, by mistake. Uh, but this is basically, um, a face with eyebrows. Uh, sad eyebrows. Sad eyebrows, right. They look like that. That's sad eyebrows for anybody who's paying attention. This is just like your kid of parts. I'm going to draw a face that looks like that. And that, here on the side. And I'll start with a sad mouth for a sad little person like that. In contrast, as long as I don't blot my ink, I shall have to do a little bit of hair here. In contrast, I'll do a happy face, which is happy eyes, which I would normally draw like that. And I'm going to make this a lady. And these are what you'd call kind of the, the these are the, the, the sort of basic, very easy uh, to read expressions. Yeah, it's very clear that, what they that's, mean. That's an eye, okay, a pair of eyes. It's just like uh, two circles with dots in. Uh, I'll do closed eyes later, but basically closed eyes go like that. But eyes that are happy when they're kind of looking up and going, ah, like that, are sort of like that. This is the identicate killer plus. And I've probably got room for every single expression that's available to mankind down there, because there aren't really all that many different parts that you do. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a bit impatient with my pen here, and I'm going to, if this one works, and it's not. There has been a, the, the pen drama has been pretty extensive today, I'll be honest uh, with you. Uh, yeah, it has. And they, yeah, well, I won't go into it, but it is really annoying. So actually, that's one learning point from today is, Make sure you've got some pens before you attempt to do any cartooning. And also, if you have got pens that you really value and are really important to you, buy a guard dog. Buy a guard dog. <laughs> don't, <laughs> Padlock don't let children kind of anywhere near all your yeah, precious yeah, pens. Yeah, yeah. Kind of so that's we've learned. Every day is a school day, and do not let gremlins into the artist studio. The trouble is people come in and they need a pen for whatever it is, writing a shopping list or... Uh, um, no, I sympathise. Um, I have nice fibre tip pens that I like writing like notes, like in various notebooks, and I never ever like loaning them to like fellow comics because you never see them again. You don't. That is right. Never see them again. Yeah. The same with money. Well, that's true. This is my lady. I 
I think that's, is that enough hair, do we think? I don't know why I didn't know that kind of hair. But anyway, I have hair like my daughter, actually. So when you're building a sort of expression like this, a kind of what you might call a, when it's very clear what the expression is, yeah. what are your kind of kitted parts you're doing that with? Well, this is it. I mean, I, it's basically, it's, I mean, you don't really change the, the, the nose much in an expression. Um, and all you really change is uh, all the hair, to be honest. And uh, as it's going to come in, don't worry, I'm not going to have to draw the hair again every single time. <laughs> And the other thing is, uh, you know, you tip the head a bit and that, and that kind of thing. But there aren't even that many expressions with an eye, as I will show you. Right. We're talking about the types of types yeah. of expression and also how you build an expression, what the kits of part expressions are. And it's mostly eyes, mouth, and I guess uh, eyes eyebrows. And mouth, really, uh, I mean, it, you know, when, a, when the jaw opens, then you've got to lower the bottom of the face, you know, or sometimes tip the whole of the rest of the face up. So would you say in a cartoon expression, not big enough. It's always very big, the big elements of the face that you're concentrating on. I mean, if if I'm looking at a person in real life, I can apparently you can read all these tiny little micro signals that people give off, like tiny yeah. little tiny little things yeah. around the eye, little twitches around the mouth, kind of these they're apparently called micro expressions so they don't even yeah. constitute a whole expression. I mean, there are some actors that have like a kaleidoscope of micro expressions, like uh is he Mark Rylance, the guy yeah. from Jerusalem, who's like, you know, he's, his face is so interesting that you just can't stop looking at it. It's like a top Well, yeah, well apparently that's the skill also when you move to the, the big screen is you have to act less because obviously right. your face is enormous. Well, and they're you probably to, even more micro. I they're guess. absolutely yeah. tiny, yeah. yeah. Yeah, hang on. I'm just going to make his eyes go to one side, which is kind of when you draw someone looking to one side like that. So that's looking to one side. And normally, when I would have somebody looking to one side, I would raise their eyebrow. I don't know how long this is going to take. Hopefully not too long. Hopefully my pen will not. So the eyebrows are pretty important then as well, would you say? in Amazingly important. For yeah. a cartoon expression. I mean, it's important in, my in real life, but maybe more so in cartoons. Yeah. I mean, well, actually, the, the funny thing is, Americans don't use their eyebrows very much. I don't know why. Um, Which is I, strange because they're always permanently... Amazed and pretty glad to see you. Yeah, they love the superlatives. They have, they have big emotions, but they have small eyebrow movements in comparison oh, to that, British that people or French people. Interesting observation. What, what Americans do have is they have brackets around their mouths, and they right. kind of and they, their mouths move a lot more. Now, the British people, we kind of talk like that, and that's because we've got crap teeth. Whereas Americans talk in big kind of. Yeah, the way I should, we've I got crap you. teeth. We just don't have all the teeth whitening. Here's me getting super self conscious there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Too much yeah. coffee or whatever. Yeah, but yeah they, they love the teeth whitening. But apparently, if you want to do the British accent or sort of the, the English RP accent, one of the tricks is to hold your upper lip, the stiff upper lip. Oh, and that's the lack of expression in the mm. top lip. Is rub some Viagra on it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Actually, I don't know what would happen. Oh, uh, well, you're going to that. I didn't know that about American eyebrows, but I shall. Uh, next time I meet, out. watch out for it. Yeah, okay. I meet an American. I shall spend the whole time staring at their eyebrows. If you look to one side, you tend to raise the eyebrow. Then you right, go to one side. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm actually going to use the, one of those little patch things now. Uh, if it's not too big, let's see what's that one. I'm going to go back to my default expression. Try and, try and do with. Oh, I'll try and do it with this one to see if that works. You'd be amazed how many pens there are in this studio and how few, if any, work. Well, also, if, you, if anybody knew how many I'd actually bought in my time. Yeah. And that's I mean, I can see about 25. Uh, almost none of them work. That's a sort of eyebrows low, lowered. Yeah. He's sort of sad, but he's kind of pissed off, you know. And he's basically, he's pissed off, I would suggest, because she's in such a good mood. So He's um, reacting to her rea reaction. He, he's just being a typical so-and-so. Um, Grumpy bloke. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make her even happier. And I'm going to do, yeah, of course, this... This pen doesn't work on stickers. Uh, we'll edit round this seamlessly. Yeah. I'll see Jai yeah. in it afterwards. Well, we'll green spin it in afterwards. To be honest, this little film will probably go on for hours and hours. He will probably kind of look back like that, even more bad-tempered. 
So we get rid of the old expressions. So how many expressions have we on so far? Uh, number four. I number four, think. okay. Yeah, she's on number two. She's Okay, I meant total expressions. Oh, okay. His and hers. Yeah. Uh, on tipex on top of my... Tipex on tipex? Yeah. Oh, are we allowed to say tipex on... Yeah. Well, we're not... It's not for the BBC. You don't have to mention all other corrective fluid brands. Right. Well... Also, you know, the EU, I mean, not that I'm a Brexiteer, I mean, the EU banned proper tippets for some reason. Also, the reason you can't get any white paint that stays white anymore is uh, those regulations as well. If you notice, you paint anything white these days, it lasts about six years and then goes yellow. Anyway, I've just done cross eyebrows for anybody that's interested so, okay. and hasn't fallen asleep. But, yeah, that's your cross eyebrows that you do. That right. They, they point downwards. Like, right. Okay. So it's pissed off. I would say that when someone gets pissed off, when they're thinking about how pissed off they are, their mouth goes a bit sort of smaller, like that. Right. So he gets more cross, so his mouth goes like that. I would say that she is completely unaware of his uh, crossness. I've got a guide of what I was, what emotions I was going to take him through. And I can't remember. Oh yeah, I was just going to have him being sort of thinking. Um, being resigned to how annoyed he was next. So that's him, roughly speaking, kind of going mm, like that. Um, I think the next thing is we'll, we just sort of make him annoyed again. I think it might be time to break into another sticker. A new sticker? Indeed, yeah. I'm always being impressed with the range of emotions that they can now get into emojis. When, you, when you're looking on your phone and you come out with the the emoji icons, yeah, it's an extraordinary range of emotions that they're able to convey from that, what is a little cartoon now, or states, emotional states, which is just eyes and mouth food, isn't it? That's the only thing they're yeah. using in an emoji. I mean, I have this idea. I mean, at the moment, they're trying to make these sort of rubber-faced robots. You've probably seen them. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they kind of have them, and they they always look crap. And yeah. I always think you don't need that if you've got a if you've got a robot. Actually, all it needs is a screen with an emoji face, and it has an emoji face on it. And then you know you don't need you don't need to kind of think sort of oh, what a lovely dimple that robot's got or something like that. Well, also, you, they'll fall into the uncanny valley where if you try and become too yeah, human like, yeah. it actually causes people a, a disquiet and unease. Where either yeah. it's so good, you don't want that. <laughs> but either, either it has to be so good that you don't know it's not a robot, so yeah. you just you just think this is a human being. But if if it's if it's really close to a human being, this is the problem they have with both CGI and any kind of masks. The uncanny valley it makes people feel very uneasy and sort of on edge. Yeah. And actually, yeah, a robot with just an emoji face just would work fine. Yeah. yeah. It'd be very straight. Okay, yeah, carry on. What you, what's your robot going to be doing? It's just getting, getting a coffee or something. Yeah. You know? um, oh, let's see. I shall have got big American teeth. Which Americans don't find annoying at all, which is why this YouTube channel will stay firmly on this side of the Atlantic. When he's like this, and he's sort of pissed off, he gets a bit tired of it. And this is a sort of typical cartoon expression that you kind of do, which is like, he's got his, his eyes go tired like that. Kind yeah. Of, uh, and I would normally kind of give him even more of a kind of, there's a sad mouth and there's a happy mouth, basically. That's it. <laughs> the point is here that you're not redrawing the shape of the face. You're That's not, really you're not, you're not moving the arms, you're not no. moving anything else. The only, the only really the two elements you're changing yeah. are the eyes and the mouth. Yeah. That's and it. That's, that's all and, and you're getting all this range of expressions from just changing those two elements. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Pretty much how our facial expressions work, I expect. Yeah. yeah. It's not, not, probably not that much to them. I did actually apparently once tell my daughter that uh, Neanderthal and early men, uh, actually the first form of language was using their eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know why I told you. Did you just make that up? I, I must have done, yeah, because I, I'm sure it's not in any... So you're watching Cartoon People. Um, Adam, this is Charles. We're talking about expressions. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so now and give us a like. And, yeah, we're talking about expressions. Right. Now, uh, this is a... I'm going to start over with this guy's expression, I think. Well, normally I draw a kind of a hand like that. Which I think is probably how it would appear if you had an emoji. I don't know. Like that. And a great big tired bored mouth. You can also do the kind of yawn which uh it would include the kind of where it's a sort of pissed off yawn, I suppose. That's probably the yawn that uh if I turned at this moment, I would find that Adam was giving uh, 
No, it's been fine. I, I, I have no problem spending two hours looking for a pen that works. That was that was great. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. That's a bit, eh? <sighs> that was great. I, was, I couldn't think of a better way to spend an afternoon. Come on, you enjoyed that little trip to the shop to try and find one as well. Yeah. You can't buy anything at the shops these days anyway, either. All the yeah. shops. Bloody shops. <laughs> um, anyway, pissed off you on. Are there any expressions that you can't convey? I don't think so. I'm with the pissed. eyes and the mouth. Um, right. um, well, I mean, the, the, the only thing is sometimes you you do want to move the face around a bit. You know, you want to kind of pull in the chin or something. If you're as a shocked expression, maybe. Well, say so you're double taking the or something rather. You right, you want to you want to you, redo you the face. Yeah. To kind of you know do that with her now. I'll just try. I try to use this one. She's sort of actually looking a little bit like an ex girlfriend of mine. So he's like that, and he's kind of, I would say, pissed off, man. Right. And I'm going to get him angry. And there's actually quite a lot of ways of doing angry. Uh, there's the obvious kind of big angry. But there's kind of actually more useful types of angry that you can do. Uh, I think I'm giving narrowed eyes. This is actually, here we are, a whole new element is, I don't know what people sometimes call that, a side eye. Uh, try and boost that a bit so that we can actually see what's going on. She's off looking there. I think we need to get rid of his hand as well. When people get angry, the way people think people get angry is that they kind of like have very angry faces. In fact, often I would say that you, you know their anger might manifest in quite a subtle way. Uh, I'll do an example. If the, for example, their mouth might retract to the tiniest mouth that you can. Imagine. Like a pursed cat's bottom. Oh, like that, yeah. Um, i try and draw it in under there. Well, that, that is an expression it. like someone's sucking a nettle or a, it's like a sour face, isn't it? Like you're... Yeah. I mean, it's a... I'll, just, I'll get rid of it. Yeah, so the puckered lips. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, before the sort of full-on explosion. And sometimes when they're really angry, they're so furious that their eyebrows go up as well. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do that. Can you see what you're missing, Americans, by not using, not using your eyebrows. I never really noticed that with Americans. Well, we'll look they, out they for don't it use it as much. I mean, I yeah. draw I, my character Cyrus that I draw in the Alex Strip, who's uh, they're definitely more teethy. They're definitely American. When you meet uh, North Americans, they're much more likely to give you a big mouth, like open sort of open mouth smile. Don't yeah. you? Brits to show off all that expensive dental work. But we've got fun. the NHS dentistry, and it's not very good. <laughs> well, I'm not going to make contentious political comments in this thing. No, 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 no. We don't want to get demonetised or we're not caught in controversy. This is where I would normally experiment with making, seeing how small I can make the mouth while it still sort of looks like a kind of cross mm -hmm. mouth. Funny enough, big, big emotions are easier to draw than small emotions. I mean, I, that shouldn't be funny, but it's just a reality. Yeah. Um... You've got what the character is saying in a cartoon, but you don't really have tone of voice and all the other is signifiers that we have around people's state of mind, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on a minute. All right. Oh. I'm just going to do an angry face. And that's basically the same as everything else, but everything kind of converging like that. He's so angry. And he's bellowing like that. I don't know if that's coming across. Can you see it in the thing? I would say... When, with expressions, especially in animation, they have a slight time lag. She sees the emotion before um, she reacts to it. And the first thing she'll do, she's, I would call this expression, perturbed. So that's another one. That's we're up to. Yeah. Well, it's still the, it's still the side eyebrows. But so it's side. just like big mouth, little mouth, you know. Uh, yeah. That's all it is. It's like, like little mouth like that. But this is showing how much you can do with this, yeah. those can individual just, elements. I think I, what I'm going to do now is I think um, this would be a sort of surprise for her. And I think actually surprised eyes, big eyes are surprised eyes, basically. Right. 
and oh, I completely forgot something about that you do put in. What do you put in? Facial expressions, and this is the perfect moment. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but that denotes surprise. I mean, in fact, with him, the same thing while he's right. acting. You kind of that denotes shock, surprise, horror, whatever. I think, I think he kind of. It's probably about time for him to sort of close his mouth now. I think we'll start to be stick with him as well, actually. That's going to do the job. Yeah. Okay. Getting very thick. It's still working there. Mm -hmm. And he's uncompromisingly in a bad mood. But have I got an O3 pen here? Did I, did I stupidly put that on it? The pen drama continues, I'm afraid. This is a, I think this is an animator's thing, but um, if you make the pupils in the dots bigger, yeah, it sort of makes them look like they're appealing for empathy. Yeah, big puffy dog for some, eyes. For some yeah. reason, yeah. Um, anyway, I think we'll make her stop blobbing. I'm starting a new flattish sticker now. Um, and for crying, I'd say it's kind of like closed eyes again. Mm -hmm. I've got the closed eyes like that, which is oh, have I done them on the on the list? No, but okay, that's closed eyes on the list. Right on the list. Oh, what do people do when they cry? They go, like that. Um, and then I suppose, um, with cartoon tears, for some reason, they actually get projected off. Come out of the face. Well, like sweat, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and I would probably, I'd probably make her, give her some bottom teeth as well, like that. And then, so she's crying even more. I used, by this stage, he would be, he'd start to realise it's, he'd set something off that he didn't intend. Expression where you go, where you purse your lips like that. And that's a sort of, I suppose, a sort of, what you'd call an interim expression. Between one state and the other. Yeah, where well you kind of like, you don't quite know what's happened and you don't yeah. know how to react to it, I suppose. Sort of bothered by it. Mm. Um, and I think then she'd go for the full on um, This is where I'd use a big mouth. Right. Um, I, I, this is where she'd probably tip her head back like that. Mm -hmm. Really bald. Like that. And you'd see the top of her teeth instead of the bottom. And babies in cartoons often do this, actually. Uh, this is going to work. There's going to be another one, which I'll. More tears. By now, our guy is going to be worrying. You know, I didn't want to set that off. As he realised that, you know, something horrible was happening. And I draw his mouth open like that. Just cross out some of the bits I don't want. We've got a sticker here somewhere. I think, I mean, my idea of who he is, etc., is that he would actually be so remorseful that he'd cover his own face with his hands like that. Uh, one thing I missed out during this is the blush, which is probably what he would have done. But that's because he made the lady cry. Yeah. He's so he's still, he's still a gentleman. Yeah. Anyway, he is ashamed of himself. As he should be. He should be, yeah. Um, and then she would probably... Should I, should I get rid of that? I'm just, I'm just trying to draw this in, but it's kind of everything's slightly getting away from me now. So That's all right. I've, I haven't got time for the tip X to dry. That's really not much, if you see what I mean, between doing different expressions. And to be honest, I think that the secret of ex a lot of expressions is that you you read into them once you're sort of vaguely in So the viewer's doing quite a lot of the work for you. Well, they start kind of going, oh, what's she thinking? What's she feeling? That kind of thing. Um, 
So and that, but that, they're projecting that onto that. It, yeah, and that sort of makes it work. And I'm gonna give her a smile like that. I know she was smiling as you drew the smile. Yeah. Um, point. So good, we've got a happy ending to this drama. Oh, well, if you think this is this man with his head in his hands is happy, yeah. Well, he's um, been punished for his bad behaviour. Yes, yeah, it's just roguish and cad like behaviour. Exactly, yeah. I'm just trying to get rid of all this. Oh, this is the last sticker, and it really doesn't want to play. But I suppose. He would look at her. So, Charles, we've been on a Netflix binge worthy roller coaster ride of emotions. Yeah, yeah. With Tipex and bits of sticky paper. We have, yeah. yeah. And have you got any final words then for the cartoonists with the expressions? Uh, well, I need to tune in next time because uh, I, I, there, there, yeah, tune in next time <laughs> because there are other things that we've talked about about ex expressions that uh, about you know uh, about expressions which are completely blank but which you read into, which I personally right. So that's a reason to subscribe. We're going to be doing another episode which is about the expressions where you are feeling one emotion but showing the other expression yeah. and also where you can't read the expression so this all of you seen now that's just a taster yes yeah and hopefully i mean i say this is an excuse but hopefully i'll just get better at drawing under the camera because i feel like um it's if i had a little better concentration today I'd also if you had the right the pen right. i think if i feel I very much if you had had the right pen in my that might have helped. I, yeah, I mean you yeah, know that's yeah. so if you learn today uh, it's important that you can do a lot with the expressions but as a cartoonist pen paper yeah, yeah. and stickers actually. and stickers pen paper and, stickers and proper old-fashioned snow paper or tipex or whatever old-fashioned snow paper which you can probably buy on the dark web Right. Yeah, 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 if you've enjoyed yeah. it uh, please uh, you know give us a like and subscribe and if you haven't well thanks for watching anyway up to this point uh, we'll be back soon with more episodes uh, thanks for enjoying cartoon people <laughs> <laughs>